Okay, Isaiah, so, uh, did you guys, how'd you get here from Colorado? We took, uh, we took a flight here, it was like 11.30 in the morning. 11.30 in the morning, so yeah. you guys got it. Did you go Frontier? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get out of, uh, out of, uh, Denver. Uh, you guys are actually in the Denver metro area, right? Yeah. Just south? So yeah, south Denver. Okay, so you guys are just north of, like, Castle Rock, right? Yeah. Just, like, 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so coming to camp here. Um, you know, I was at Mile High last year uh, at the actual location you guys would go to. Uh, okay. What's the location you guys go to? I go to Monarch. Oh, uh, there's another I one I went to. Cherokee Trail and then Chaparral. Chaparral's where I went last okay. year. Chaparral was pretty cool. Got to see uh, a bunch of your coaches. You got really good guys. Coach uh, Bill Longa, I saw him. Oh, yeah. Uh, who else did I see? Uh, another Cornell guy. What's his name? Uh, which one? Chris? Yeah, yeah. Well, Coach Valalonga, Chris Valalonga. Who else is the other coach? Uh, um, one other one, I can't think of it right now. God, uh, I literally can't think of it, and I, it's on the tip of my tongue. Really good guys, though. Yeah. Um, Catherine Shy was there. She was there. That was cool. Um, so it was a cool, cool uh, setup. Um, but you don't have the partners there that you have here. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that, yeah. What is it like coming into a room at Burnett Train like this in Ohio in the middle of a field and scrapping? <laughs> No, it's good. I like. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not working people, but they're not working me. So I'm out here. I'm like. I'm banging with people, and I like that. I'm getting better, just by exposing like little things that I do wrong, and I'm. I'm helping them grow, and they're helping me grow. So I like it because it's just it's competitive, and that's what you need to get better. You and I watch you. You're really physical when you wrestle. <laughs> These guys are real physical too. You know. Yeah. You're going with. Uh, you know. I saw you go with Gavin Brown. He's tough. Yeah. Um. I think I just saw you go maybe go with Brady Con Brody Conley. So they're not really good partners. Yeah. Right? Definitely. Uh, you and Mungaya is like must see TV. Enrique? Yeah. It's fun. Like, I, mean, I get the anxiety <laughs> watching you too. Because you guys go upper body and he does all this crazy stuff. He rolls around. But when you have partners with different looks and you guys come to a camp like this, is that what you guys are ultimately looking for? Yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what I'm looking for. I mean, at the end of the day, you want like a different type of style to help you get better. Because, I mean, when you're exposed to a different style, someone who's just as good as you are at your style, but they have a different style, you bring them together and you, you kind of join them and you can make a bigger, a better, a better wrestler out of it. Your coach is just you and your coach. Yeah. What is that like coming with no other teammates and just you and your coach? Uh, it's a little quiet at times, definitely quiet, but um, nothing you can't work past, you know. You got to make conversation. You can't just have a week of silence. <laughs> you can't have a week of silence? <laughs> you can't have a week of silence. You got to talk. I mean, I've, I've gone on trips with him, like not trips, but, you know, we've, um, travel together for little tournaments so it's I mean it's, it's different that other teammates aren't there so I can't joke with them and then bring my coach into the joke it's kind of like you gotta joke with him make conversation with him so that's that's been different um, but nothing I haven't been able to get used to uh, you know like the partners are unreal I love watching you you know you go hard you got a high pace you already committed right yeah where'd you commit I'm um, committed to North Carolina Chapel Hill so UNC Chapel Hill coach Coleman Scott yeah. Um, I was at ACC's this year. Okay. For really fun tournament to watch. Definitely. Um, and are, are they projecting you as a 57? What are you? Yeah, 57, 65. Eventually 57, 65? Yeah. Okay. Um, when you look at, you know, knowing you got a physical style, it's going to probably translate well to college. Yeah. What do you need to, is, what do you, how do you going to get better from right now to, you know, so going on to the campus of UNC? I think I, um, I mean, I've talked to a lot of college wrestlers and even just college coaches that I've, I've had over the years and uh, I mean a lot of it is being be being able to get out of bottoms being better at bottom and just knowing how to ride people till I turn them I think in neutral it's just gonna be about not giving up a takedown and being able to get into my shots because I know I won't give up a takedown but I if I start working for my shots and working my offense and just chain wrestling more I think that'll help me for sure the fact that you already have a grasp on the, the mat wrestling is like the most impressive thing for me because a lot of kids are just clueless about getting off the bottom. Yeah. You know, Coach Burnett, did you, if you did you hear him tell this story about the round of 12 of the NCAA tournament? Yeah. Got, you know, it was tied going to the third period and the guy chose top. Yeah. Guy rode him out. <laughs> the guy didn't ride him out. The guy turned him a bunch of times, right? Yeah. Now that would be two turns. The guy turned him almost like three or four times, right? Yeah. yeah. Knowing that, you know, is that something you take from this camp when you, when you hear him talk about that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, my brother's always told me, like, uh, I feel like it's always been a thing since my brother's in high school, just to always be better on top and bottom and just push them, tire them out on top and bottom. And I, I just saw, I'm working on that. And I know that's a big thing in my wrestling. 
looking good on you know like you've had some really good goes in here yeah right you're not getting the best of everybody but they're not getting the best of you you've had some 50 50 goes yeah that's ultimately what you want you exactly. come here to not just kick everybody's butt exactly tell me about quarantine for you what did you do during quarantine what was your workout regimen what did you do how did you what was school like for you what was life like for you during this quarantine? so during quarantine i uh i i mean i'd get out there i'd get out there and run i mean one just like every day i'd run like at least five miles and i remember one day around like 10 miles in an hour that was killer i didn't feel it until the end of the workout but that was good and then i uh i do so i go to the school nearby and they didn't have like pull-up bars or anything i used the field goal posts and i used those to do pull-ups and muscle ups and all those calisthenics workouts and i'd run the track time you're just miles. making workouts up yeah pretty much <laughs> move my body get, yeah. just get strong yeah and then uh i was doing stands in motion every single day um i i have a mat at home so i just i do i do throws and with my little brother i practice with my brother go your live. brother's your dummy yeah <laughs> both of them. uh practice with my little brother kind of everything you know i uh i had a little curl bar but i mean i made the best of it i uh I did squats with that. I mean, you can't really do much with 40 pounds, but you do what you got to do. Um, I mean, that was that was really it. I mean, school was school was pretty fun. I learned how to manage my time. The projects were kind of like big projects, but they're spaced out. So I learned how to manage my time and do my work and still get stuff done on top of my workouts and schoolwork. So I, I learned how to do that. It was all online. It was all figuring it out on your own, right? Exactly. You had no in person. No. What did they do the same thing with you guys? Because I know Ohio, what we did. Mar at the beginning of March, it was we didn't go back to school after like March stuff. Yeah, no, we didn't. Same go with back you guys. Yep. Yeah. Um, can you please take the school ID out? I want to see. Show me the. Is that this, you? No, this is my. Older I was gonna say, who is this? This is my. <laughs> Show me who this is. This is my older brother. And I'm like looking. I'm like that. This first off, 2011, <laughs> 2012. He's way too young for a to been in middle school. Who is it? Your brother? Yeah, this is my older brother. I love it, dude. Is that your guys' school? Uh, this is his. This school does not. It's non-existent. Anymore. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> Did you just carry it with you? I mean, it's been in here, so... I love, I love it, it, dude. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, okay, do you ever get to go up in the mountains? Because you guys actually, like, people don't understand what it's like when you're in Denver. Denver is actually in the plains. Yeah. Right? Do you get to go into the Rocky Mountains and do workouts and stuff like that? Because you can be up in the mountains. Yes. Yeah, so like you could drive to Morrison in twenty minutes. I live. I live by Morrison. Yeah, you could be. In, you, I'm saying you could go do the Red Rocks. You can be in Golden. You can be in the mountains in under a half an hour. Yeah. Easy. Definitely. So, right. So like I live. I don't live in Denver. I actually live in Green Mountain, which, which is, is south. Is, yeah. Well, which no, it's west. So oh, you're I'm, you're west. Yeah. So I'm I'm near Morrison. Okay. So um, you could be you could do the Red Rock stairs in like twenty nothing. minutes. Yeah. Definitely. So I, you've yeah. got a lot of places you can go work out. Definitely. I would go on hikes. That was one thing I did, did not say, but I would go on hikes all the time. Were you guys not supposed to be doing that? Uh, no, we could go on hikes. You could go on hikes? Could, yeah, they closed Red Rocks down. So Did they? Yeah, so I mean, I don't know if that's open yet. Yeah, they're not having concerts. Yeah, no. Um, but I was I was going on hikes. There's a really nice trail to go run by my house. It's called uh, William Hayden. So you're, you're, you're just figuring stuff out. Yeah. You were figuring out a way to be active. Exactly. How big are you now? I'm 160. So you're you're still pretty small. Yeah, I'm, I mean I'm small. I uh, I made sure that I was I was not getting fat, but I was like I was still gaining muscle and strength. So I had, like a lean bulk. So yeah, I'm, a lean bulk. Yeah. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Lean bulk. Yeah. You're like wise beyond your years. All right. Um, what's your what are you thinking major wise at at UNC? Um, so I'm, I want to I want to go to um med school. So I don't I don't know yet. Either I'm trying to get an engineering degree so okay chemical, i've been looking at chemical and mechanical engineering just uh i like those things uh, math you must like math oh, i do love math you love math i can tell okay <laughs> do you got anything else for me no nah, nothing i mean everybody that i've worked here with here i'm glad i can work with them and they can help me get better and i can help them get better Ooh. so i'm thankful to be here will colorado have a season next year if they don't, are you, are you training like it is? You're, you're training to win a state title. I'm training beyond the state title. I'm training for college right now. You know, I love it. So I'm, all right, Isaiah, you got anything else for me? Nope, thank you. <laughs> hey, good luck, safe travels, keep scrapping there, all right? Thank you very much.